Viduino Component Creation 01111001 or number 121 for the non-binary types out there. And this is a bare beginning and I do mean a very bare beginning. Alright, thank you for watching and why don't you remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel so you'll get updated whenever I upload new videos. Cut. <laughs> All right. If you do like robotics or electronics or you got boards or you like to make your own hardware or you like to rip crap apart just so you can get at stuff and see how it works and you use Visuino, sometimes you can get aggravated because um, not everything is always there in the component. You, you, you sometimes have a component that does what you want but you have something that maybe you can make it a little bit better. But now you can do it. You can do it in Visuino by making your own vcomp file. And that is V as <laughs> Visuino component. It's just a file in the libraries folder. Uh, like you go to your libraries, you make your folder name, and then you go inside and that's where your vcomp files go. And then you make an images folder uh, in there. And then inside that folder, you have to put a folder that's the name of the component. Um, you know, it's, there's, a, there's a few steps to it. There's three or four things that you have to absolutely get right. Um, there's ways, there's easy ways to put it into different categories. So if it works on both digital and analog, you can include it in both the digital and the analog menu selections. Uh, there's just so much you can do because I'm ready to get Hank here. He's he's ready. I'm ready. We got the parts printed and uh, the tank is going to benefit from this. The Visualino tank is going to be cool. Um, we're going to use the aiming and laser systems on that. ka -ching! <laughs> But anyway, I'm going to start this video, show you how, uh, and get you off the fence. This is a very basic video. Trust me, it does the component does not do anything it's just there <laughs> okay so bear with me on this first video it'll get you all, it'll get you going so enjoy okay first thing you want to do is go to your Arduino libraries and create your new folder uh, the one I'm making here is called aka pigeon kicker you got to remember that there's also the Metov library library uh, and inside that one is also a Visuino folder. That is where the VCOMP files are that you can use for examples. Alright, in this shot we have gone into the AKA Pigeon Kicker library folder. Um, the first thing you want to do is to create a Visuino folder. And please remember to capitalize the V. All right, your third step is to create your H file. Uh, so mine here is aka pigeon kicker underscore test dot H. And when I said it wasn't gonna do nothing, I meant it. It's just pretty much a blank, uh, <laughs> blank file. So obviously that's where your code's gonna go and that's where the components gonna link to for the inputs and your sliders and your values and the properties and I still really haven't got a grip on it it's gonna come later in another video and oh my brain hurts cut all right so after you get your uh, blank test H file created uh, you're gonna go into the Visuino folder all right fifth Go ahead and make your images folder, and uh, yes, do capitalize the I. Uh, and then also you're gonna want to create the VCOMP file. Now you gotta look really close at how I worded that uh, VCOMP file there. It's aka pigeon kicker dot test dot VCOMP. Now the reason you have to use the dot vcomp and then the dot test and then the namespace before that is due to the way that the vcomp is written if you look at the first line aka pigeon kicker that is the namespace but we're going to get back to this in a minute 
back to the libraries folder, go ahead and go into the images folder. All right, so in the previous folder, you noticed that all of the separate VCOMP files are on their own. They're, they're in the same place. Here, you have to put the images inside of the component name folder. So, go ahead and create a folder uh, that whatever you're gonna name it here it's you know it's named test oh. <laughs> all right so this is where your PNG file is located the PNG file is 32 pixels by 32 pixels okay next step is to actually get it to show up as a category or in the toolbar category selections that you have now um, there's kind of a trick, there's a, something I just discovered on accident, and here it is. Alright, now this is going back to the VCOMP file now. Um, if you look at line number 7, it's been commented out, and that is where Visuino sets the category, or where in the toolbar it's going to be available. It will still work without assigning a category. If you look at this screenshot right there, uh, it sets it into an unknown category. This was my surprise uh, discovery, I guess you could call it. I'm going to better explain the rest of the VCOMP file in a couple seconds, but uh, in this one, line number seven has not been commented out. Now the result of this is it's right there in the main analog component list, kind of in the center down there. Um, now the thing is, you can add it to multiple categories. This is how you get it to show up in different areas, like digital and analog. All right, now that you can get your new component into the correct category, I have not a clue or a list of all of the different categories. Uh, working on it, but that one again is going to take some time. Uh, you, you literally have to look at all the components of it that are available and, and, and just get them and figure out where they're at so you can stick them in there or you can make your own category and that will be coming in a later video all right now looking at the first line and the last line the first line is your namespace um, components can be named the same thing but you have to make it under a different namespace uh, please make your own namespace uh, to avoid any conflicts with current components and the next thing is the semicolon on the last line. This is the signal of the end of file, EOF. Okay, now looking at line number three, this is where it links the component to the library name. And flashing back to the library, which does absolutely nothing. All right, now looking at the Arduino class in line number four, uh, it says here the Arduino class specifies the name of the C++ class implementing the component. So, yeah. Um, and then line number five, continuing here, uh, create name. This is actually what uh, Visuino is going to display on the component in the sketch like at the top if you have multiple it would be uh, aka pigeon kicker test one or aka pigeon kicker test two if you have two of them in the sketch and so on and so forth this is actually the display name do not use spaces um in the next line number six name that is what uh visuino is basically just going to show you over on the left side in the properties that's all it is 
All right, we already know what the categories do in line number seven there. Uh, go ahead and tinker with it if you want. You got to find them out. I don't know them all. Uh, line number eight, Arduino loop begin. No clue yet. I'm still working on that one. All right, so line number nine. Uh, this is where it adds the component to the toolbar or it adds the component as uh, some uh, intermediate class of hierarchy uh, which will be used by other components or other classes and uh, things of that nature. Uh, the plus sign there is what actually adds the component to the toolbar. If you take the plus sign off, that is when you can use the VCOM file in another VCOM file as a property or you know another section of the component. All right, lines number 11, 12, and 13. I do believe this is what times the component on the clock pin. Uh, not exactly sure, but I think this is some kind of a template, so if you connect the clock, uh, it only triggers when you get a signal from the clock pin, uh, or not. You know, I'm not exactly sure on this one either, still working on it. Alright, so now down at the bottom there, lines 14 and 15, uh, those are what actually draw the pins on the component and set them as to what kind of class the pin is, like the clock input pin uh, that actually draws the location where you can wire it in. Uh, and then test input pin, that would add an our analog sync pin named test where you can wire it. All right, so if you guessed correctly, this is also how you add output pins and name the output pins and assign them to their different classes and categories and so on and so forth. Now the last part of your VCOM file is the semicolon that uh, pretty much initiates end the file phase, EOF. So now, after you save all of that information and you reload Visuino, you're going to end up with something like this. On the right side, in the component list, is your new component. Uh, you can add it. You can see where the input and output pins were added. And on the far left, in the properties, you can see what I was talking about with the naming of it. And in the center there, also at the top, how it's aka Pidgey Kicker Test 1. That was also what I was going over and how you can how you have to name your components and add them to different namespaces. Okay, so now you can start to get a glimpse of what you can do with Visuino. You can pretty much make anything you want. You can take any kind of hardware or you can make your own hardware and create your own component to operate that hardware. You know, you, you want to add on, on your, your shift registers or displays or anything. You can even add your own boards, like uh, new boards coming out, like the ESP32 Cam or the M5 Stack or whatever. You've got so many possibilities. And another thing is you do not have to have an NDA to use this. It is it is it, it's pretty much open source so for me I have an NDA because I have access to the base programming of Visuino uh, the actual Delphi files now this it, you don't need it this is only telling the Delphi files what to do so you don't have to have that NDA which is used and also don't forget that in the Metov uh, libraries there's a Visuino folder with a bunch of examples and I'm sure you know how to copy and paste code right it's exactly what the Arduino open source was built on was the ability to copy others work and add it to yours openly and freely make your own stuff <laughs> I cannot say how great this is but anyway make sure you like share subscribe or don't it's all good Thank you for watching.